Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, install a transmission oil cooler. It's actually fairly simple. I painted mine. But uh, what you want to do is that they give you these long, like, these really long um, plastic like zip ties. You just shove through the radiator or the condenser or whatever. Then on the back side, you have this little round piece that will slide on and, and lock them in. But what you want to do is behind or in between your cooler and the condenser or the radiator or wherever you want to put it, most people put them on the front here, is that there's a little rubber piece that you thread that into here and you thread that through this foam piece and then it threads through here and then on the back side here, I don't know how well you can, yeah, you see, you can see them. They just go in behind there and they clip onto the other end. They just push on, snap, they just snap all the way on. And you just cut off the excess. But you want to route your, your lines in such a way, see, I cut my, cut some holes in here and they're not going to rub or, you know, they're not going to rub on anything and get cut. Now way back in here, there's actually a metal piece that this thing can get um, can rub on and it'll cut a hole into it. So you have to route them in a way that they won't touch that. And mine don't touch. You can barely see back in there. But uh, yeah, they route there and they come out under the battery tray here. And one, the bottom one, would be, be uh, your input. So you might want to take your top transmission line off and start the car briefly, and I mean briefly, uh, just for a second and have somebody watch and see where the fluid comes out. And wherever the fluid starts pumping, pumping out is your feed line, your input. So it would be inputting through the bottom here. This way it would push all the air bubbles up. No, no, no air bubbles would get trapped. So that would be, my feed line is coming through here. It's actually going through the radiator on the bottom and coming up through here. And this line, they actually give you an adapter to put in the turn there in the cooler. And you would run that line to the bottom one. And the top one would route and go to your existing transmission line to where it'll go back to the transmission. And they give you these hose clamps, but you can get these, they work. But uh, you can get some better ones that are like uh, for injector uh, gas line stuff, they're a little bit better quality, but um, those work just fine. Just make sure you tighten them pretty good and don't strip them out. Um, you can also double clamp them if you want to, doesn't matter. I would prefer you probably double clamp them, just you know, be on the safe side. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you want to warm the truck or you warm your car up or whatever you put this in and uh, check your transmission fluid afterwards because you'll lose maybe a pint or so. So, um, yeah, that's, that's how I routed mine or put mine at. It's pretty big. Some of them are really, some of them are way smaller, but uh, I decided to put a bigger one in it. But that's how I routed mine. And go way up under the battery tray and come up through there. This one's probably too long, but I don't know. I might have to do something about that there. See how it's um, going to be rubbing right here. So you want to kind of try to route them in a way that, yeah, you know, see the. They're not going to rub too much. And you don't want to kink them either. You know, you want to put them something like, like that. You don't want them kinked twerps, you know. I think they, I think your maximum um, kink or whatever that you can have in these is like a three inch or so. So you can only have it um, go like that instead of, you know, don't want to kink them too much. But that's about it. I'm doing a 
radiator flush too and whatnot. Just got the radiator back in. But uh, yeah, that's how you install a transmission oil cooler.